all right everyone in this video we will be going over the pros and cons of living in wyoming michigan and it's coming up right now For things to do and sights to see, you are now watching Live Great TV, and I am your official host to Live in Great and Grand Rapids and the West Michigan area. Hey, my name is Vaughn Greathouse. If you want to know more about the Grand Rapids area and what it's like to live, work, and have fun in West Michigan, make sure you take your finger, go below, hit that subscribe button, snap that notification bell, or at least just hit the like button to support the channel because honestly, I love putting these videos together for you, but even more than that, as a licensed real estate agent in the state of Michigan, I love helping you make that transition over to the West Michigan area. So my email, my number, my direct contact info is in the description below. Feel free to contact me anytime with any questions that you might have. I'm happy to help out. So with that being said, let's get into the video. I really want to go over Wyoming because this is a video that I've actually been wanting to put together a long time for you. Uh, the main thing with Wyoming is it's right outside of Grand Rapids. So I did a video a while back in the winter time, just talking all about it, but I really want to go into the areas that I visited. There's two different sides or parts of Wyoming that I always get into and people know in the area. So I want to get you acclimated to both of those areas. So I want to go right over to the video so you guys can get it first-hand uh, experience of what it's like to be in there, especially during the winter time. I know it's summer now, but I really wanted to show this to you. So let's go over to the video and check it out. Let's see what it's looking like. I have to skip through, but don't worry about it. I got you. Wyoming, Wyoming, Wyoming. Wyoming. So we are in Wyoming. what is happening you guys today i am right now in wyoming michigan and you're really gonna like this area this area is one of the best places to live in west michigan and for a few reasons like i have some clients that i work with that really want to be in grand rapids and a lot of times being as though there's so much competition right in the heart of Grand Rapids, they want to move a little bit further out. So what happens is they usually come to Wyoming. Now, Wyoming, I will say, is is very it has a lot of great attributes about it. It's spacious. There's big lots. It's a very community oriented place, you know, like a lot of other places. And the main difference is I'm going to point out is going to be the affordability. Let me walk across the street here. Now, the biggest thing with the affordability in Wyoming is that you get that bang for your buck. And as I freeze while I walk, I'm gonna tell you all about it. All right, now Wyoming itself is located about six miles south of Grand Rapids. Maybe not even that. It is super close to Grand Rapids. You butt right up to downtown Grand Rapids and it, it, there's a couple different things about Wyoming. There's a smaller area of Wyoming and then there's a higher end upper of Miami. <laughs> I'm on Miami Street. Um, now the thing about Wyoming, there's two different parts of Wyoming that a lot of people refer to. So you have a smaller Wyoming area where the homes are a little closer together, but it's also very, very affordable. You do have your own lot. You do have your own space. As you can see behind me, I'm in one of the smaller areas in Wyoming. And you have another part of Wyoming where you have bigger lots, you have more space, you have bigger homes. The average price range in Wyoming is about 200,000. And with that being the case, you can find really good deals in Wyoming. So knowing that Wyoming has all those deals it's really close to Grand Rapids. You're getting that bang for your buck. You're literally not losing out by moving to Wyoming. There's a diverse appeal to this area. 
take that for what you will. <laughs> there is a lot to do in regards to shopping. Everything's local, everything's close together, and it's affordability. If there's one thing I can say about Wyoming, it's gonna be the affordability of living in Wyoming and having all of the benefits of Grand Rapids without being in Grand Rapids. So that's a huge thing. Population in the area, somewhere around 75,000 people. All sorts of people. That's the great thing about Wyoming. So as we walk through, just want to show you around. There's a lot of great parks out here. You got the Wyoming Library, Rogers Plaza. There's a lot of great things about the Wyoming area that you should know about let's take a look around all right so that was just a, a small clip of what i experienced when i was going around the wyoming area and people I, I haven't covered it a lot on my channel which i'm actually pretty surprised by but i will be digging in more into that now the place where i was just at uh was the right around the lamar park area and it is like the real hub of what Wyoming is. Uh, the affordability of the houses there are a huge highlight to why people move to Wyoming. Uh, there's a ton of parks in the area, so there's a lot of nature. It is very community oriented. It's really close to Grand Rapids. So you sort of have the feeling that you're not in Grand Rapids, but you're literally right next door to Grand Rapids. Um, it's a great uh, place for like entry level home purchasers or people who are looking to downsize who don't want much of a house, but they just want something comfortable to move into a uh, very diverse area in all facets. There are uh, 28th Street. Uh, maybe I can pull up a map here. Hold on a second. Da, 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 da. See if I can pull up a map. All right, give me just a second. Um, so let me go to my desktop here. All right. So if we look at my desktop and I was right here in the Lamar park area. So Wyoming, the center of Wyoming is right here. So it's pretty much right, right up next to it. So as you, um, find out more of long, like along the lines of where everything is in Wyoming, you'll see that 28th Street is a really, 28th and 44th Street are really b prominent roads in the Wyoming area. So I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit more here. Let's see, what, see how close I can get. Um, so these are gonna be some of the main roadways. I don't know if I can change the layout. Let me see here. Expiration. Let's see. This is a little better. There we go. So right here, Lindo, Mexico is one of my favorite restaurants for Spanish, like uh, Hispanic food or Mexican food. So good there. 28th Street is where a lot of the shopping is. A lot of the, um, as you get down closer to the highway that takes you right, 131 takes you all right to Grand Rapids. You're seeing a lot of commercial places, uh, Applebee's, what have you down here. Then right off of there, which is a great area for like entry level, this area right here near the uh, Wyoming library Berlin game there is a good bit of like green greenery you know you have Wyoming schools Clyde Park 32nd and then all the way up into 36 and then over in the 44th the this area is a great area that a lot of people look forward to moving into and how I know that is because from working with clients who want to be there we usually end up in like a multiple offer scenario however uh, even with having multiple offer scenarios, the price point is not unreachable. It's not unreal. And so since we've seen the interest rates and everything kind of change on the market, we're seeing a lot more people get into these houses and get in there at an affordable price. So Chateau Village is also another area. Um, and then it gets you down over on the other side of 44th Street where there's a lot more nature. You're going to see a lot more parks. There's the Pines Golf Course. Um, I believe Maplewood Golf Course is right in the area as well. Um, you'll begin to see a lot more like uh, rural area, but at the same time, it's in close proximity to everything else. So you really can't miss a beat when you're in the Wyoming area. So I'm just going over the map of where to go. So we're, since I was over here earlier, 
towards like the center of Wyoming um, and how everything is rolling out over there. I really, this is where I was before. I'm going to go in to another video and show you another part, which is m more geared towards the uh, Wyoming uh, Chateau Village, Wyoming Park area, um, Gazan Parkway, near before you get to Byron Center off of Highway um, M M M6. Um, so I'm going to show you that. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the Wyoming area, please message me. Um, I love helping you explore exactly what is going to fit for you. Now, since I was on one side, which is more Wyoming schools, the other part of Wyoming is going to be Granville schools, which is where, um, let me see if I can see my shiny head, <laughs> um, where Granville schools are and the Granville Bulldogs uh, are really close to that part of Wyoming where you have larger lots and whatnot. So I'm going to show you the other part of the video that I went to the went to the town in Wyoming just to show you another landscape of what it's like to live in the Wyoming area. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, you guys, so right now I am in the other part of Wyoming. Now this portion of Wyoming is a little higher end. Now we're looking more starting in the 350 to 400 range to begin with. Each house in the area has its own unique design. I love the Wyoming area because it has different dimensions to it. It has different, It has different facets to it. It has a lot of smaller homes if you want a beginner home, and then you have more established homes such as the ones in the area that I'm in. Like I was saying, in this area, you're typically looking around 350, 400,000 to get that quality home. A lot of these homes are brick built, very good builders in the area. And I'm talking really great homes, different areas such as the associations they have different rules and restrictions and those associations like where i'm at now is not an association which is a really good thing because if you want to put a fence up or if you want a pole barn or anything like that you can go ahead and add that now i do a lot of business in the wyoming area and this is definitely one of the areas that most people want to be at they want to find a house in wyoming somewhere with a finished basement something with a nice garage maybe an extra pole barn or something of that sort so knowing these things about the wyoming area creates that appeal creates that urgency that people really want and so you see multiple offers on homes like these as we're in a great market right now for sellers and buyers so when the buyers get in the home they typically don't like to leave uh, unless it's like a transfer or something like that so knowing that about the wyoming area keep in mind there's different facets to each area there's different pockets knowing all about you know tell me a little bit more about wyoming tell me a little bit more about kentwood things like that as far as that is concerned just digging in getting a little more information great schools districts great school zones things such as that so knowing this about the wyoming area is a huge attraction so i just want to show you guys around some of the areas that will be most appealing to you. So if you have any other questions, please feel free to get a hold of me. My information is right below. So just want to show you guys a little bit of the area, tell you exactly what to expect when you're looking into the Wyoming area. All right, that was uh, me walking. That was, I believe that was somewhere in February. So it was quite a bit cold and it was great, you know, to get out and about, see exactly what your bang for your buck is going to be. If you want a bigger home, if you want a smaller home, uh, you know, people who are co contacting me from maybe California or Washington or some of these other metropolitan states, Arizona, um, they're thinking maybe, you know, three or four hundred thousand dollar house there is just very average. But you come out here, maybe you spend four hundred thousand. You're getting uh, at least a three thousand square foot home, two or three thousand square foot home, and potentially it'll have a finished basement. Now, is that going to be every house that's out there? No. But are there deals like that, and are is it very possible for that to happen? Absolutely. So 
keeping your eyes and ears on the market if you already have been subscribed to Zillow or you've been on Trulia, wherever you're looking. Um, even if you're in the West Michigan area already and you're looking to figure out what area is going to best suit you, let me know. I'll help you iron out exactly what it is that's most important for you. So that way, when you get into the area, you fit into the lifestyle. The worst thing is that people that do move from one place to the other just look at the sticker price and they're just saying, wow, that house is x amount and i can afford two or though you know two of those and so i'll just go ahead and get that because the area is just nice vaughn says every area is nice no i'm not saying every area is nice because it is all dependent on what your lifestyle is so if you're used to wine and cheese and the area that you're that you're in is not that you know you know looking at hills and vineyards and the area you move to is not that you're not going to enjoy it as much as if you were in the area where it's all wine and cheese and vineyards and things like that so it's all going to be based on your lifestyle. I'm happy to get this information out to you. The great thing about Wyoming is that the people who live there, they really enjoy it. There is a very, like I said, a very diverse uh, cultural area that's out there. If you haven't got to visit, make sure you stop by and check it out for yourself just to see what you think. Drive through a couple neighborhoods, go for a walk through one or two of the neighborhoods. I mean, there's no harm against that. You know, don't bug anybody, but just get to see what it's like for yourself. If you're going to potentially be living there, um, I always encourage you to get used to the area or just based on your own research, re reaching out and getting these little small questions that make a big difference answered. So that way you're clear on exactly what you're doing, you know, and why you're doing it. So that's really all I have for, you know, touching on Wyoming. It's a great area. It's really close to Grand Rapids. A lot of it, the affordability, the shops that are out there, the proximity to highways. Uh, there's a lot of jobs in the area. So if that's something you're looking forward to, please let me know. Again, for things to do and sites to see, this is Live Great TV. And I'm your official host to Living Great in Grand Rapids and the West Michigan area. My name is Vaughn Greyhouse. Hey, if you want to know more about the Grand Rapids area and what it's like to live, work, and have fun in West Michigan, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and smack that notification bell or at least just hit the like button so others can you know, get used to this channel and know exactly who to call if they're making that decision. Just support the channel in the best way you can. Again, my information, that number, that email that's right in the description below is my direct contact info. I'm more than happy to help out. Please feel free to reach out. Until next time, we will see you on the next video.